What's up, delivery fam? You are here because you want to learn how to multi-app and you want to see how I do it and make things so much easier for me to make my money, stay busy, and all of the above. I promise you, by the end of this video, you should have a great understanding on how easy it is to multi-app. The purpose of it is just to stay busy. There are advanced ways of multi-apping, but all you need to know is that you need to stay busy to maximize your earnings because time is money and your time is valuable. Whether you want to put majority of your time into another business or majority of your time you want to spend with your family, multi-apping will help you get there. But you got to trust me first. So if you're not a part of the family, you gotta hit subscribe, click the bell, and join the family because nobody else will understand what you go through except another driver just like you. Now I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna make it simple. This is gonna be a semi kind of ride along, but it's not. I really want you to focus on what I'm doing when I'm doing it to show you how easy it is to multi-app. So if you're ready, let's get started. The very first step to multi-apping is to see what's out in the market where you choose to work. How do you do that? You turn on all apps. Turn them all on. The point of this is to see who is going to send you an offer that is worth your time. And once you receive that offer, you accept it, and you turn all the other ones off. Let me show you an example of that. Now that I've turned on all the food delivery apps that I want to work for the day, I'm gonna sit and wait until one of them sends me a decent offer that I'm willing to accept, mileage and everything that I'm willing to accept, and once I accept it, I'm gonna turn all of the other ones off. So, I got three offers, one from DoorDash, one from Uber Eats, and one from Grubhub. The first offer came in for five guys on DoorDash for 375 going 5.9 miles, two items. Decline! The second one came from Uber Eats, $3 going 2.4 miles from a place called Zona Fresca. Decline! Now the last one that I did accept came from Grubhub, $6.60. And I know the total distance is worth my time. I accepted it. And now, I'm gonna turn the other ones off. So let's pause my dash, and let's go offline with Uber Eats. And it's that simple. And now that we got that Grubhub order, we're, we're gonna go deliver it. And as we get close, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna unpause my dash, and I'm gonna turn Uber Eats back on. As we get close. You don't do it while, after you drop off, because if you do it after you drop off, then you're back to square one. You wanna make sure you get an offer that's worth your time before you drop off the one that you currently have. And that's the point. Let's go drop this off. Okay, so I have to turn into this apartment complex where the customer is. So while I'm waiting on the traffic to go by, I'm gonna now turn my Uber Eats back on and I'm gonna unpause my dash, resume dash. I'm out of the zone, but at least my Uber Eats is back on and it's currently looking for an offer. DoorDash is looking for an offer. So when it's time, by the time I get to the customer, hopefully, I'll have another offer that is worth my time and is worth taking. But since I'm outside of my DoorDash zone, <laughs> I might not get another one. So hopefully, Uber Eats is gonna send me something that's worth my time, or maybe even Grubhub off block would send me something that's worth my time for me to keep on rolling. And that's it. So let's go drop this off. And just like I thought, 
I haven't even gotten out the car yet to go drop off the food and Uber Eats sends me a 7.59 going 1.4 miles from McDonald's. So let's go drop this off. Then at least we got another order that's ready to go and we could just drop it off and know where our next location is that we gotta go pick up. That's it, y'all. Now that has been delivered, let's go get this McDonald's from Uber Eats. But before we leave, since I already have the Uber Eats for seven bucks going one point something miles, I'm gonna now toggle unavailable on Grubhub so I don't give them an opportunity to send me anything additional. But keep this in mind, I am off block on Grubhub. I'm not on block. If you're on block, it's more difficult to toggle unavailable and available, but I love the off block work. It gives me a chance to just do what I want, when I want, how I want. All right? So let's go get this. Hello, I'm picking up for Uber? Yep, it's both of these bags. Both of those bags? Yep. All right, thank you. Okay. Now, since I'm outside of my DoorDash zone, they didn't send me anything. I wasn't worried about pausing my time because majority of the time, whenever I'm outside of the zone, I get no offers. So why pause my time and waste it and potentially ending my dash if this is acting like a pause anyway? So I got that order. I'm going to start the delivery. It's literally like across the street, <laughs> seriously. So that's basically what multi-apping is. You start your day, you turn on all your apps, the one that sends you the best offer that's worth your time, you accept it, you turn the other ones off or pause them. Now, when you go drop it off, you turn them on before you drop it off, and then hopefully one of them will send you another offer that's worth your time, and then you pause it again. You pause the other ones, you do what you gotta do, and just keep on rotating. That's all it is. And again, if you're outside of your zone, I know this is how it works for me. If I'm outside of my DoorDash zone, my I don't get any offers at all. So why waste my pause time? I might as well use that time, just let it keep running, use that time and make my runs, do what I gotta do. So between these two offers I did, one for Grubhub and one for Uber Eats, I'm about 13 to $14 in like 30 minutes. If this keeps up, I'll be at like 20 plus dollars for the hour. This is why I'm addicted to multi-apping. If you enjoyed this brief tutorial, that's basically what it is. Make sure you squeeze the life out the blasted like button and let me know how you feel about it. Does it make you feel a little bit more comfortable and giving you a bit more control? Is it still something that's too stressful for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Hey